Hello! Today's special recipe is Nubi Tang, spicy chili paste. And this is usually something that goes along with a bed of vegetables, rice, and some main dish. So I'm using Thai chilies. I like them, they're spicy, and they taste really good. You can use any kind as long as they're spicy. I'm using about 15 to 20 chilies. You can use more or less, just depending on how spicy you like it. You'll just have to balance it with the amount of um, shrimp paste that you'll be using. And as you can see, before washing, I'm going to remove the stems. There are so many ways to make chili paste. You can use fresh chilies like I am now. You can use dried chilies as well, or you can make the soupy kind. Wash and drain and transfer into a pot. And add some water, just enough to cover the chilies. On medium heat, cook for about 10 minutes or just until the chilies start to shrink or they start to get wrinkly. Once the water has evaporated, it's done and you can take it off the stove. Okay, so next up is the dried shrimp. You can get this from any of your Asian grocery stores. Um, there are baby shrimps that have been dehydrated. I'm going to use about a quarter cup of them and with my Nutribullet, you can use a pesto mortar if you don't have one. It just takes a little longer. So we want to grind them up into almost like powder. And this is what I mean by almost like powder. So it's not completely, completely powder. So you can see here, uh, we'll be using about half of this, but I'll be adding just little by little. To and now grab your pesto mortar. For this recipe, you must have this. I don't know how to make a chili paste any other way and I've never done it. it it's just the whole ingredients of mixing it, it works better with this. I'm adding a pinch of salt because it helps to grind it up together. Be very careful when you're doing this because the chilies will fly off and go into your eyes and you don't want that. So be careful. After about 5 minutes of pounding, this is what you get. So you can see here it doesn't need to be completely pounded, it's, it's just roughly done. So that's okay. And next we have here shrimp paste, Nabi. It would not be a chili paste without this shrimp paste. I'm using this brand, I don't know what the name of it is, but it has a picture of a scale at the front and that's how I remember it when I go and buy them. It, don't be frightened by the smell of it, it tastes better than it smells and looks. And I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Alright, so for the amount of chilies that we used, I'm going to be putting about a tablespoon of ngabi, the, the shrimp paste. Uh, I may need a little bit more, just depending on the what kind of consistency uh, you like. I'm slowly mixing this because, you know, with shrimp paste, it's, it's very sticky, so you can't really um, do it any other way. So slowly but surely mix it around until they are all well combined evenly. And this is what mine looks like so far. Okay, 
now we add some of the dried shrimp powder that we made earlier and just add little by little. And the reason is because if you add way too much all at once, it's going to become way too thick. Once again, mix it really well. And remember to taste test. Taste your food. I'm adding a pinch of MSG, and if you don't like that, you can replace it with sugar. Okay, and we are going to add half a slice of lime juice into this. Fresh lime tastes the best, so I've tried using those little pre-juiced lime from the store, and it just doesn't taste the same as a fresh one. Are done. I'm going to transfer this into a nice little bowl and eat it with rice and some vegetables. You can have it with any kind of vegetables, boiled or fresh. The more, the better. But unfortunately, all I had today in the fridge were mint leaves, but it'll do. I made some little rice balls with uh, whatever was left over in the pesto and mortar and made little balls of rice mixed with chili paste. So good! Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!